50 seconds. And this is going to be the one. She's palling for it. Up and riding. Trying to create her own destiny. That's a strong start for Sawyer. A setup turn right there. And a big bash at the end. She loves it. Needs a 5-5-1. Sawyer Limblad has qualified for the championship tour. And Sawyer is with Rachel Apollonio. Rachel. Sawyer, congratulations. You have officially qualified for the 2024 championship tour. How are you feeling right now? Um, pretty crazy feeling. Uh, I've been working towards this my whole life, and it's just a dream come true. Um, I especially wanted to qualify by the time I turned 18, and yeah, it's just a belated birthday present. I can't believe it. It's the birthday today. No, it was, a month. It was last month, but, but anyways, it's still a birthday present. So now that you have time to reset and speak, because she was speak speechless, what do you think you're bringing to the championship tour? Um, I think that it'll be a lot of learning, but I'm just really excited to be there. And yeah, I'm excited to surf the bigger waves, honestly, and um, get more comfortable. And just really, I'm just really excited to surf against my idols like Stephanie Gilmore and Carissa Moore. And which one of the calendar of the CT are you excited the most to run? Um, probably Pipeline, yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Hope to see you surfing and reaping next year. Thank you so much. What a big day. Back to you guys. Yeah, it is. And said, hey, you know, don't just put 30 years of sand on our beach. It's snapper. <laughs> and then that sand makes beautiful right-hand peelers, just like we're seeing Sawyer Lindblad tee off on here. She's leading the heat. And her backup's a 4.5. I'm saying that she improved upon that. Oh, yeah. By a few numbers. Yeah. And as a, as a result, this heat is still wide open. And there is a place in the final against India Robinson up for grabs as Sawyer takes one down the line. A stronger start on this wave. Plenty of water coming out of the pocket here as she unloads a series of backhand hits. Can she get the finish? Wow. She does. Yeah. Rich, we're, uh, we're yet to see. Well, South didn't have priority. Sawyer knew just down the line. This thing started to stand up. Oh, yeah. Fully connects with that section. And again, you can see way more spray than she's thrown on any other wave this heat. And just a final. Obviously competing at a very high level for a long time. But that was really an eye-opening uh, event for a lot of us who knew she was good. But now we know she's great. And here we go. Activating on her backhand. Big opening snap right there. Quick, concise combo there. The second turn, spot on, perfectly placed. That's going to be a huge score, yeah. Rosie. Uh, a moment to excite the judges as Sawyer now comes around this section. Solid again. And a big finish. I'm so impressed with what Sawyer's done in this heat. She's been on the best waves of the heat. Work. She's Definitely, and as we see, Sawyer Lindblad on her backhand, up and riding, Chris. Easily the standout from yesterday. Sawyer Lindblad did that multiple times for a convincing victory to get herself into this round of 16. With a lot of flow. So that was the first opening maneuver, and it's just so cool to watch these women just do these maneuvers in such quick succession three-turn combo on an opening ride. What she brings to the table is no fear when it comes to those big sections on the outside. Ooh. Heat leader, Sawyer Lindblad, with beautiful rail control on that opening carve oh. and a couple of quick snaps. She's taken apart this wave, released there, add the variety to the overall routine there, Mitchell. Should be the first section of the score that we're going to see this morning. And incredible wave selection from Sawyer Lindblad. I really love the flow, but... Her positioning in the lineup has been impeccable right two weeks prior to the event, and you can see on point right here, fully engages the rail, Pete. Yeah, she did, and just look at it. This uh, Each and every turn, a little bit different, getting a little more pizzazz and punch in the lip. Four solid moves. I mean, that was impressive, and you're right. I, Fitzgibbons looks like she's lining up the right, so Soria was smart to get some space and set up this left. Limblad setting up her first turn. Throwing some water off the rail. In section, hack solid. A lot of Sally Fitzgibbons fans getting their feet wet watching this one go down. Big first turn for Sora Limblad. 
And the local energy is getting behind the Goofy Foot's performance here through the inside section. What a feeling she must be having going through every single turn. Knowing that all of San Clemente is making the trip up the coast to Huntington Beach to support her in this final. But also just freeing up her surfing in such an amazing fashion. Carrying a lot of speed through these turns. That southerly wind has picked up and it is chunky sections that Sawyer's attacking right here. And just like a hot knife through butter, I think her surfing with the flow, with the connectivity through all the maneuvers and showing us a different series of maneuvers every time she meets the lip line, Mitch. Right, good variation. I really like the maneuver selection right there. She saw that the section was going to stand up, wrapped it Especially back. knowing she would have been watching the heats before, how inconsistent it was right up until that last minute. But uh, this is Sawyer on uh, her, must be her second wave. So on the backhand here, point of difference to the other girls. And uh, fresh off a win from the US Open, looking so spicy. So yeah, love that wave from Sawyer. Of course, when it's great, there's a lot of action going on here. And this is Sawyer Lindblad on her backhand. Nice two-turn combo out the back. Really starting to open up on this really nice carving wall. She was trying to improve on her. Already had a 7-3-3, so she's got one big number in the bank. Now she's just trying to add to the income stream. And she's still <laughs> going on down, and she's still got this nice section, and she hits it. So Lindblad looking cozy and a nice dismount. i tell you what, these girls are just all feeding off each other in terms of the scores are coming in, Flick, and then you just know you've got to go big. You can't get through with fours and five in this heat. You've got to, you've got to go. Yeah. Meanwhile, Lindblad out the back. Sawyer, got that really unique style. There's two big whips, and there's a third mm. whip, and that's a three-turn combo. Out. So she's done the work out the back, and now looking for inside. Really different approach. She's staying busy, a lot more turns, a lot more sort of pumping of board, and she just keeps hanging it up there and can't get an end section. But 50 again. seconds, and this is going to be the one. She's palling for it, up and riding, trying to create her own destiny. That's a strong start for Sawyer. A setup turn right there. And a big bash at the end. She loves it. Needs a 5-5-1.